How do you make simple needle felted dog muzzles? Let's find out. Hey, it's Pam Duffy and it's a Thursday, so it's a needle felting tutorial. Every Thursday I make videos just like these, so if this is something you're interested in, don't forget to come back every Thursday. So let's just do a quick beginner's tutorial showing you how you can quickly make a dog's muzzle that you can build up to any different type of dog. Over the coming weeks I'm going to show you some really basic step-by-steps that you can put together to create any breed of dog or most animals. And we are starting with the simple closed mouth muzzle. So let's have a close up and see how I've done this. Right, I'm gonna run this in real time so you get an idea of how long needle felting actually takes. Because quite often with fancy edits and cuts and speeding up, people get the idea that needle felting is a quick process. But actually it takes a bit of time and that is not a bad thing at all. I love that I can sit in front of the telly, put a box set on. So for a dog's muzzle, what you want to start with is a ball. And if you haven't already, check out my tutorial on how to make a ball. This is the first basic shape. And if you're new to needle felting, then I would totally recommend having a go at making a few balls because that gives you an introduction to all the skills you're going to need for needle felting. So once you've got your ball made, the muzzle is actually relatively simple. We're just making a tube and attaching it to the ball. So you can wrap around your needle, you can wrap around a skewer, you can just wrap, you can just roll it into a sausage shape. But roll fairly firmly because the tighter you roll it, then the quicker it's going to be to needle felt. So you're just going to be felting all the way around, keeping the needle moving, remembering to stab in the direction. Remember to stab perpendicular to how you want the final surface to be. So you're either going to have to rotate the object or move your needle. And picking out one end that's going to be the nose end, so you're working over to firm that up and tighten it up a bit. And you can add more fleece if you feel it needs to be fattened up. And then we're going to pop this onto the dog's face or onto the ball. Now just looking at the breed of the dog, some dogs have longer noses, some smaller, some fatter, some thinner and also some, some of the muzzles are actually more towards the centre of the face and some are lower down on the face. So look at the position you want it to be in but usually they're lower down on the face. So I'm popping this lower down on the ball and just felting it into position. You want to be felting through the nose and into the head in all sorts of directions to get a nice smooth seamless join. And then again to smooth that out, 
just a little bit more, what you're going to do is take a small amount of fleece and just wrap it round the join. And this smooths out the shape as well and gets it more of a muzzle-like shape. Take your time, felt and felt and felt until it's fairly smooth and then at around about this point is a good time if you're using a different colour to start adding your colour. So that's all there really is to it, to make this basic shape. And then once you've got it, you can be adding long hair to get some of these hairier dogs, or you can add color. And once you add the eyes and the ears, it really starts to get its own character. But it's from two really simple, basic shapes joined together. So I hope this helped. As I say, over the coming weeks, I'm gonna be showing you different tips and tricks, quick needle felting tutorials that you can make a start to build up and hopefully be able to work out how to make any breeder dog that you want. So thank you so much for joining me. Click on my wee face to subscribe if you enjoyed that and come back every Thursday.